Okay, I'm back for part two. So, on my video. And so, like I said, you got to study. Uh, and I said in part one, you have to study the uh, what you're investing, putting your money in, so you're comfortable with what you're putting your money in. Or if you choose to get a financial advisor or a trader, or you trust uh, E-Trade or a, a TD Ameritrade or Charles Schwab, that's you. I think they got low fees as four something or six something under seven dollars right i'm doing it myself because i can i don't have to pay them extra six or seven dollars and that's a low cost yeah that's not bad but when you putting up thousands of dollars and you trading a, a lot of money that bad then that six four four to six dollars seven dollars add up plus your plus if you lose money so i'm not saying you ain't gonna have the risk of losing money but uh using other people you may do good using other people I'm just not going to do it because I have used other people, trusted other people, and have lost money. I ain't doing that shit again. I done told y'all. So, I'm going to, for now, manage it myself. So, again, like I said in part one, get you the Wall Street Journal because Warren Buffett reads five or six hours a day on stocks. You know, books and annual reports and all that good stuff, he said. And CNBC, uh, to, I keep up with the news and what... What it's uh, doing from day to day, I, re I look at it a couple times a day. Uh, it's another one on Facebook. Y'all probably been seeing it called Public. I don't like Public. I use Public for the information. Uh, I signed up, but I'm not really using it to trade, put my money on, because it kind of suggests what it wants. I know it's Public, and I have it, so I'm going to show y'all. I know this Public... This is public. Oh, God, I'm by the window, so it may not even. Well, right there. See, that's public. And public down here has people you can follow. They're supposed to be uh, check out popular investors on public. And it, I went through their pages the other day, and I saw them post sporadically what they bought. So it shows what they buy. So it's not showing a whole lot because I went through them and they didn't have a whole lot on there. And they had months between what they bought. Okay, so me personally, I'm not finna trust these people. And it's telling you where they work, like their position at different companies and where they work. That's a good thing. I mean, I don't need to know that information. I don't really care where they work, you know, and what they run. But I know, yeah, y'all might think, oh, if they do this, they might have some investing knowledge on what's what. Okay, they might, but look at their name. Like I said, I'm using it for information. I'm getting the information where I need to get the information from. Don't mean I got to trade on here, though, because I'm not trading on here. I trade on Robinhood. Okay, and so you got Drew and Jason and Justin and Dana. Then here you got stocks and slices where now you can buy per however many dollar you buy usually it was per share if it was 17 a share you had to give up the whole 17 a share to buy the stock to get one stock now they want us investing so bad to bring this market back that they doing it by how much dollars you got now if you don't know what you're doing that could be that could hurt you, yeah. If you need them five dollars or them ten dollars or whatever dollar twenty dollars worth of stuff you want to put in there, you know, it's just making it available easier in a in a fractional or factional sense. Uh, so instead of being a whole seventeen, you get a portion of the seventeen until you put enough in there to get the whole seventeen. Kind of like how Bitcoin did when Bitcoin was buzzing around. You were buying a fraction of Bitcoin. A whole Bitcoin was damn near. When I started, it was twenty two, twenty five hundred, and it went all the way up to twenty nineteen twenty, and then crashed. So, you know, but to get that whole Bitcoin at that time, yeah, you would have had to cough up twenty thousand dollars. Who walking around here with twenty thousand dollars? Come see me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we got some investing to do. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I need a, I need a uh, financial uh, 
I need a financial investor because I got some goals I need to get done and, and off my calendar. <laughs> I need a capital vent venturist to come donate me a million dollars so I can get this shit going. <laughs> but nah, I'm going to make my own. I don't even care. But uh, I got all the time in work. But uh, I, uh, so back to this public is good if you want to kind of glance around and get the information explore to things to explore they categorize the, the 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 stocks and shares into categories you got tech giant uh future is female where it lists about 400 and something ceo stock ceos that are female that are running the company or whatever uh and the most popular and the key, the new kids on the block. Uh, you got um, some cannabis ones listed on there for y'all that want to know about the cannabis. Got the vegetarian world stuff. Uh, Self-driving cars. Uh, baby, I got your money. Hey, hey, hey. Baby, I got your money. I don't know why they got that as one, but it said, baby, I got your money. And I think those are the banks. Companies behind the processing and transaction of payments. So those your visas, your MasterCards, your American Express, Discover, you know, Platinum's, Golds, and all them other stuff, right? Uh, the banks. Uh, cancer is even on there. So y'all know they, you know, ain't going nowhere with that damn cancer, right? They gonna be getting on that medicine until they can get it, right? And wipe it out. And and, and take your money too. Uh, oh, it's my song, Ro James. Oh, I need to start singing. From the hate to see you go. Oh, let me stop. <laughs> okay, but anyway, if you go to one of the stocks, that's my soul. He got a new one, y'all. It's bad. Ro James, look him up. So, deposit cash to invest with and earn 2.5% interest. You have to make a de deposit on public. Okay. Personalized public. You can, I guess this is where answers and questions to get the most out of public. All right. Uh, invest with friends. So you can invite your friends to invest with you. If y'all want to uh, put your money together. But I, I mean, I ain't doing that. <clears throat> So, uh, and there's a little blue deposit button right there. But if you go, okay, here's Apple. See, and then the, the stock slices, they got the most, some of the most expensive ones, suggestions right here. I mean, it's okay. They want you Apple, Google, Tesla, Facebook, but they stock is up there because I did the homework. And so let's go to Microsoft because he's the first one. He 158 and 95 cent per share. Dang, I'm that light. Oh, maybe I need to cut my lamp on. No, that ain't working either. Uh, dang, it got dark up in here, didn't it? Maybe if I cut that light on, I don't know if it... Anyway, y'all can't see it because I'm facing the back of the, the window and it's hard to see. But, uh, $158.95 today. They're in the green. Uh, if you go... Now, what I like to do... Is you read about it. it got a little bit of paragraph right here for y'all to read about it and then it got none of your friends own or follow this stock so it's telling people that what you got so if you don't care about people knowing what you got then you can use public because I don't know if you can put this on private mode or not but I didn't like that part because I don't want y'all ass knowing what I got uh, especially if you ain't close to me um, I'm going to keep that to myself. And it has fine friends. 
It has your news. Now, don't, that's what I mean by the news reports. Uh, it, these little apps have news reports. So just read the news report about the stock that you're trying to buy. Uh, see what the headlines are saying about it. If the market is going up or going down. I get numerous letter, newsletters. I got coming in my email. Like, I'm reading everything, what everybody say. Because I want to make an informed decision. I, no, I want to make, I want to do my research. Number two, I want to make an informed decision. And number three, I'm going to go what I feel comfortable with going with. Now, if somebody else is doing that for you, number three, don't get answered. Actually, none of them, because you don't know none of it. If you, if you haven't studied it yourself. When he brought it to you and said, oh, I think you need to invest in uh, Facebook. Well, why do I need to but, uh, invest in Facebook? So I'm saying you got to answer those questions, right? Research, informed decision, and comfortability, or whatever I, whatever I said. You know, knowing, you know, trusting yourself on what you gather. And so it tells you that uh, Apple helped. Lift the S&P 500. Stock to watch. Spotlight on Coca-Cola. Okay, why your 2020 resolution should be to buy uh, more tech stocks. So they're giving you advice. They're not, I mean, actually they tell you some to buy. They, they put the tickers in there. The tickers are those three or four abbreviations, five abbreviations, however long they call them. That's how you look them up from the ticker. That it'll say Apple, it'll say Face, it'll be Facebook, but all you'll see is FB, right? Capital letters, FB, it's a corporation. We know capital letters is corporation, so it's a corporation, right? So Facebook will be under Facebook. So you have to know the tickers to, to know what you're buying, to know what to look at, because when you see a newspaper or these apps with all these uh abbreviations or capital letters you got to know which one you invested in you got to know which one it is because under it don't tell you it's facebook okay if you go to them they don't tell like this one does uh let me see no this one right here does okay yeah on here it does it says microsoft m SFT is Microsoft, but on Robinhood, it doesn't until you click on it, and then it tells you what it is. But I don't care about that. I still like it. Uh, so if you go to, go back to uh, Microsoft, which is Bill Gates. I've been reading up on him, too. It tells you what all Microsoft, uh, what all Microsoft owns. Xbox, Skype, GitHub. So you get to learn what other companies merge together, like how T-Mobile and Sprint are merging, I think, and they merge with uh, Metro PCS, if I'm not mistaken, right? So that when they okay it, when they okay the T-Mobile and the Sprint merger, then they trying to see if it's going to in, in, increase the stock or decrease the stock. Uh, you know, simple quote-unquote terminology buy low sell high it just depends on how high you trying to ride it out you only you can answer that you if you got a good read or you know inkling or a vibe about it going up that's you then you'll hold on to it a little longer until you're ready to sell it whatever profits you're trying to get out of it depending on the amount of shares you got and invested in it so uh it also tells you more things. It tells you what Wall Street thinks. This little rating down here tells you what Wall Street thinks. And it'll say strong buy. So it's telling you it's a strong buy. Wall Street analysis suggests analysis suggests for this stock a strong buy. Now if you got 158 if you got $158 for one stock of, of Microsoft that's you. Okay. It's got events from 2009. And it's got the earnings. 
and it's got the stats, which is the market cap, the volume, the price to earning ratio, which is the PE ratio. It's got the dividend rate and it's got the dividend yield. You want a stock that pays you dividends. I didn't I didn't notice because I got I got a few in my portfolio that pay dividends and I looked down and I was like looking at it, I was like, oh I got I got some money off of this. <laughs> Cause I forgot I had it earlier this year and this year is out and I looked down and I had a couple of you know a couple of dollars. I was like, oh, okay. So I'm looking dividend payouts. You better be paying me some dividends, bro. You know. All these corporations in this United States, Canada, Australia, China, Korea, all over the world, you know. So whatever you interest in or whatever you've been interested in, you can buy that stock. So uh, I was like, okay. So they dividend rate at Microsoft was a dollar and eighty four, and their dividend yield was one point sixteen percent. Then it has buy down here. Then it has, you can search for stock and then it has free stock. I think if you get people to sign up, they'll give you a free stock. So like I said, I'm not really working with public like that. Y'all can. Uh, I'm, I've am i been had Robinhood for a while, so I'm kind of like stuck on Robinhood. Uh, uh, so, oh, and let's go to Robinhood. And Robin Hood, I love Robin Hood. Oh, see, you can see it because it, that screen was white, but my Robin Hood is, is black. Because uh, I, I think I got it on dark mode, and I like because I can see. So my buying power now is $0.24 because I bought, like I said, more stocks. Uh, so I have to transfer some money back on there so I can buy some more. And... You get a dollar, invest with the little as a dollar. So they doing the same thing as public, giving you that dollar. Uh, if you want to do $5, $2 worth of something, they letting you get fractions of it. Uh, fractional shares is what they call it. Introducing fractional shares. So they're giving everybody an opportunity to gain something, okay, to, to get, gain extra income, to increase their their statuses their living status or financial statuses or whatever you want to call it you like i said you just got to do the homework and know uh and know what you want to get so let me go down oh lord i got a couple of them in the red one two so i got a couple of them in the red two in the red and then the green uh now if i go down to my watch list My watch list. Let me make sure I'm going the right direction. That's my watch list. <laughs> oh my god! I counted the other day and it was like 147. So I gotta, and I'm probably gonna see that was the end of them right there. And I'm probably gonna get, I'm gonna weed them out, but I'm studying them as I weed them out. So because I'm taking my time and read through them, but I didn't want to have to be like. What was that stock I wanted to look up? What was that? So I put them in my watch list. And after I review mine, I go to my watch list and look at, look, just, you know, pick one and start going through them and weed them out. And I may end up putting more in there as I'm weeding out, you know, but that's my system. A part of it anyway, it ain't the whole system. I ain't going to tell y'all everything. You have to buy it. And, uh, but anyway, that's, what I'm using to kind of keep everything. That's why I like Robin Hood. But like I said, everything, I can't find everything that I want to get on Robin Hood because I got a few more I, I need to get and they're not on Robin Hood yet. So I'm waiting for Robin Hood, Robin Hood to come on in and get, get my stocks I got to buy because I'm not trying to have all these trade stations out of here. Well, what's trade stations? Trade stations are your TD Ameritrade, your uh, Charles Schwab and your uh, Maryland Lynch's and Fidelities and I think it's your uh, E-Trades e, e and Robin Hood and all the places that you can trade. You can trade. I had TD Ameritrade on there. I do have E-Trade still on there. So uh, I'm looking at the stocks on E-Trade 
even though I haven't signed up, it's telling me here a graph of what Apple is two eighty nine eighty. GE is eleven dollars and eighteen cents. Uh, Bank of America, I think that's Bank of America. Yeah, is thirty five thirty five, and Comerica. I think that C is Comerica is seventy nine sixty seven. Let's see if that's Comerica. No, that's Citigroup. Okay, so that's Citigroup. Uh, so it's telling you what they are. So it has a news report too. So that's why I kind of kept uh, TD Ameritrade on there for information too. Now it's another one I found on Facebook because you know once you start surfing shit, they know what you're surfing, and all of a sudden y'all y'all notice y'all see ads on Instagram and Facebook because Facebook bought Instagram. So whatever you search for or click on, bam, sponsor ad. It's coming through. So damn, when I did that with that public shit, god damn it, or that Adam, here come public. I was like, okay, they spying. We all know it. So there's another app called Adam. A-T-O-M. Uh, part three. I gotta stop. It's 20 minutes. Go to part three.